Now, there is no doubt about it that by far one of the most controversial moments in the sequel trilogy all has to do with the concept of Rey Skywalker that was created by Kathleen Kennedy and, yes, even director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that they are now on the road to success when it comes to everything that they have actually established within The Mandalorian Season 2 and what's in store for the future of the franchise moving ahead, be it, of course, for Rangers and the New Republic, Mando Season 3 and 4, The Book of Boba, and a whole lot more coming our way for the overall franchise. Now, the thing about Disney and Lucasfilm is that they really are heavily invested with their new Star Wars universe. You know, they got George Lucas, they've got Dave Filoni, Jon Favreau, and others on board to really take care of everything moving forward. However, what's really intriguing all has to do with the sequel trilogy movies. Now, when we go ahead and take a look at what happened with those movies, obviously it was a big mess on a, you know, when it came to the production. Kathleen Kennedy really interrupted and deleted so many scenes and put new scenes in, and that's exactly why the movie at times feels very much out of order, or it just feels like something is missing, or sometimes it's going way too fast, almost as if there's a lot of scenes that they're skipping over. And that's the main reason. It was all because of Kathleen Kennedy's input into the sequel trilogy movies themselves. Now, with that being said, what's really exciting all has to do with Jon Favreau's plan for Rey Skywalker as a character. Now that The Mandalorian Season 2 is over, Disney and Lucasfilm are primarily focused on their new Star Wars universe and more. It's described that creator Jon Favreau is making major changes behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm in order to create a better future for Star Wars. It's described that Jon Favreau just ended the concept of Rey Skywalker, created by Kathleen Kennedy, and is now helping other creators to developing the new and improved concept of Rey Skywalker by completely changing who her parents are, as well as the true nature of why she is called Rey Skywalker. It's described that Jon Favreau is set to establish that Rey's mother is actually a descendant of a Jedi from the Old Republic era of the franchise, and that her father will serve as the true son of Palpatine. Favreau is set to establish that also Ben Solo's spirit becomes one with Rey, and that her essence is taken over by a Skywalker's, which in turn will allow her to have legitimate children connected to, the, connected to the Skywalker bloodline, in a similar fashion to how Shmi Skywalker gave birth to Anakin Skywalker. Now on top of this, it's noted that Favreau is set to also establish that this is why she will be called Rey Skywalker in the new established canon, starting in late 2021 for this new and improved version of herself as a character. Now, let's stop right here for a second. Some of you out there may be wondering, Mike, we already have Palpatine's son. What are you talking about? Well, John Favreau, what he is doing is that he is basically tweaking the character of Palpatine's son, who, by the way, we don't know mo much about him at all, but in the novelization, he is actually the son of Palpatine through gene splicing as a clone. So Palpatine's son is just the clone of Palpatine in the novel, Favreau is going to undo that by making him a legitimate son. What that means essentially is that Rey has a grandmother out there. Somewhere, at some point in time, she did. Who did Palpatine have, you know, Rey's son with? That's the biggest question of all. That most likely is going to either A, remain a mystery, or B, will be pretty much explored by Jon Favreau, but that part's a blank. When we look at Favreau, he really is very much invested on retcons and trying to really enhance the sequel trilogy experience. In fact, he's already preparing to do that with the Mandalorian series for starters on the side in order to really kind of create this own legacy of his own. Now, do I think that this is really necessary? This is the biggest question of all. Is this really a necessary thing for Star Wars to go back to the character of Rey and retcon many aspects of her? I honestly think it's a good thing to do because it really gives the fans a little bit more, I guess you could say, things to look into for the character post-Episode 9. And it also is going to explain as to why Ben Solo's Force Ghost does not show up and why he just vanishes into thin air without ever showing up on Tatooine. That, right then and there, tells us exactly why. 
Favreau took advantage of that inconvenience and is turning it into a canon piece in the upcoming material due for, of course, late 2021 that's going to set up all of this new lore, all of these new stories for Star Wars overall. You know, on top of this, this will also be tapped into in the Rise of Skywalker sequel series that's going to be an animated form. They're aiming to drop that in 2023, so keep your eye open for that. Honestly, it's a really good time to be a Star Wars fan. A lot of things are happening as we speak, and Favreau really is the true next George Lucas as well as Dave Filoni. So like I said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.